Welcome to Total Watch Repair. Today we're going to be doing a video for a polish and cleaning on a Michelle Herblin ladies watch. We're going to start with the tools needed here, which is a blue polishing cloth, a movement pad, tweezers, pin pusher, bench knife. First we're going to use the bench knife to pop off the case back. We're going to start the polish. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to take out the mechanism and start to remove some of the components. Here we are, we're going to take out the mechanism. We're going to remove the stem and crown first. Then we're going to remove the dial and mechanism together. After we remove the dial and the mechanism, we're going to remove the band from the case so we can polish it in two parts. So we're going to use the hammer, pin pusher, pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Pin pusher is going to be used to hammer out the pins so we can remove them to take out the strap. And we're going to use the pin pusher to drive the pin and tube out of the band. Then we're going to use the flathead screwdriver to remove the band from the case of the watch so that we can polish it separately and accurately. Once we have the case and the watch strap separate, we're going to apply a special polyamide tape. What we're going to do here is we're going to tape off areas that we would like to remain untouched. Now, because this band is two-tone, it has gold down the center, there's a good chance that the plating might come off. This is why we're covering it with our polyamide tape. Once we have the tape on, secure on the entire band down the center, there's different sizes of tape. We're gonna find the correct size of the tape to make sure that it fits right down the center to cover the gold spots on the watch strap. We're gonna go ahead and start polishing the case. First, we're gonna remove the scratches. We have this buffing wheel here, and we're gonna be using the Menzerna compound. It's a pre-polish compound, and this is a very hardcore type of compound that gets rid of all the scratches. It's very good to do this before you actually do a high polish. So we're gonna go around the edges of the case. We're gonna to try to get all the little nicks and scratches taken care of with this particular wheel. As soon as we're done with that, we're going to put the linen buff wheel. And this is the high polish buff wheel. We are going to use a white rouge compound, which is good for gold, steel, or platinum. We're going to push the case towards the wheel and buff out the scratches. And this will kind of give it a nice, shiny, polished finish. Once we finish with the case, we can go ahead and start working on the watch strap. We're going to first make sure the tape is nice and tight on there. We're going to follow the same steps. We're going to first take out the scratches with our hard buffing wheel using the Mizerna compound, the pre-polish. We're going to do that first to take off all the rough, heavy scratches or dents that have in the band. Once we finish uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and put on the linen buff wheel. This is going to give us the high polish and that nice, clean, shiny look for the watch strap. With this one, we're going to use our white rouge. We're going to go ahead and apply it to all corners of the watch strap. Any part that was shiny to begin with, we're going to go ahead and reapply this now. And we don't have to worry about anything because the center is taped with the polyamide tape, so we don't have to worry about anything with the gold centers. So we're going to do this, run it a few times until we're going to look at it and then just make sure that the polish is there, there's no scratches. You don't have to worry about overdoing it, you just have to make sure that it's nice and soft, make sure that you're getting all the corners, all the areas of the watch strap. So as we remove the polymide tape, you'll notice that the center still needs to be polished. We want to avoid the gold links in the center, so we're going to actually go link by link we're going to bend the links. We're going to only polish the shiny silver part of the links, skipping the gold pieces. This is an ultrasonic cleaning machine with a special solution. Takes off all the dirt and grease right off of the strap. We're going to go ahead and to put it into our ultrasonic cleaning machine. Here we have our baskets here. Uh, we're going to put, we're using two baskets. We don't want to put the case and the band together because there is risk that it will get scratched if you put them in the same basket. We're going to adjust our temperature here and we're going to set our timer for about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, we're going to rinse it out first and we're going to put it on a cloth. Let that dry out for a few minutes. You shouldn't have to polish it with any kind of towel or anything like that. 
what we use is we use a air dryer so we go ahead and just put that on the air dryer for another uh, 15 to 20 minutes this makes sure it gets every part of the band in between the links it's kind of like a blow dryer for watches once that's done all we need to do is reassemble the watch back inside to the mechanism put the dial back in place and start to reassemble the watch stem and crown goes back on case back goes back on this particular one we did not polish the case back the customer didn't want us to touch the case back they might have had some engraving on it now here we're gonna go ahead and just put the watch strap back on we're using the spring bar pins and the flathead screwdriver to drive the pins back into the watch band case make sure it's secure on both sides once again this watch this is a michelle herblin ladies dual tone watch that was sent to us for a polish and cleaning as well as a few other minor repairs but the main one was for polish and clean and this is the finished product we do a lot of polish cleaning and total watch repair you can visit us at totalwatchrepair.com find us on facebook total watch repair or instagram as well we hope you enjoyed our video today if you have any questions or feedback please let us know thank you